The Galactic Empire, also known as the First Galactic Empire, the Empire, and later as the Old Empire, was the fascist dictatorship that replaced the Galactic Republic at the end of the Clone Wars. Though the Empire rose to power by promising to bring order to the galaxy, it oversaw a period of harsh military rule and aggressive expansion. The subsequent imperial era would last only two decades, for it was eventually overthrown by the Alliance to restore the Republic in the Galactic Civil War, but not before the sovereign star systems of the galaxy had been largely conquered and oppressed by the Empire's forces. The First Galactic Empire traced its origins to a Sith conspiracy to destroy the Jedi Order and regain control over the galaxy. The Empire was secretly controlled by the Sith, for Galactic Emperor Palpatine was, in fact, the Sith Lord Darth Sidious, whose reign was enforced by Darth Vader. Rising to power on a groundswell of populist support, and capitalizing on anti-Jedi and anti-droid sentiment and human ethnocentrism manufactured by the destructive Clone Wars, Darth Sidious appointed himself Emperor at the end of the conflict by promising security and stability to the war-torn Republic. Gaining the overwhelming approval of the Galactic Senate, Sidious staged a coup by the Jedi, and oversaw their subsequent purge by Darth Vader and his Inquisitors. The Empire stood virtually unchallenged during its rise to power, with the backing of the Imperial Senate and the spreading of its massive technological military force across the galaxy. However, numerous insurgent cells sprang up against the Empire and gradually united to initiate a growing rebellion, winning its first major victory over Mustafar in 4 BBY. These rebel groups eventually formed the Rebel Alliance in 2 BBY, and achieved its first major victory with the theft of the Death Star plans on Scarif, which, in turn, led to the destruction of the Death Star at the Battle of Yavin in 0 BBY. The following years saw initial alliance successes until a major imperial victory on Hoth in 3 Abbey, but the Empire suffered a devastating defeat one year later at the Battle of Endor. During the battle, Darth Sidious was slain at the hands of his Sith apprentice Vader, who himself died shortly thereafter, marking the end of Sith rule. With the Emperor and Vader dead, factionalism overcame the Empire as it fractured into breakaway fiefdoms led by splinter moffs, admirals, and generals, many of whom ignored Grand Vizier Masa Meda's authority at the capital and became warlords. The Imperial Navy came to be publicly led by Loyalist Grand Admiral Ray Sloan, though she was a figurehead for Fleet Admiral Gallius Rax and his Shadow Council. Ultimately, Rax seized control over the Loyalist forces, removing Sloan from power and becoming Emperor in effect through his new position as Counselor to the Empire. Under Rax's command, the Empire made its final stand at the Battle of Jakku in 5 Abbey, ultimately losing to the New Republic and forced to sign war reparations and disarmament treaties. While several holdouts continued to resist, the Empire formally capitulated to the New Republic with the signing of the Galactic Concordance. The New Republic had supplanted the Galactic Empire, which was reduced to number of remnants and holdouts. However, the Imperial legacy endured, for some holdouts in the Outer Rim worked to restore the Empire of old. Elsewhere, in the Unknown Regions, elements of the former regime regrouped as the First Order in Unknown Space, and sought to be a more refined and pure version of what the Galactic Empire was. They were unaware, however, that they had been manipulated by a new hidden conspiracy, for secret cultists on the lost world of Exegol attended to the spirit of Darth Sidious, and constructed a fleet built to herald a new Sith Empire. The cult efforts would ultimately fail, however, for they were opposed by the Resistance and Jedi Order, leading to an uprising against the First Order. <laughs> 